Hey guys, today I want to show you how to modify an STL file for your benefit. Right here I've got an issue where this particular headphone hanger is designed for an IKEA desk and I don't have an IKEA desk. So I can see right here uh, this file just it, it appears to be way too thick and my desk is not that thickness. And the other issue is I can't even tell what thickness that is. So I need to check that out. Here I can see the thickness of the file itself. That's more like the height that it would print uh, this, this distance here. So I'm going to use SketchUp. And um, if you haven't already installed that, just go to www.sketchup.com and download SketchUp. It's free for educational or per personal use, and it's available for Windows and Macintosh. You'll need to input your email address and agree to their terms and just hit download there. Once you've got that installed, you'll also need to install a extension for importing and exporting STL files. So we'll take a look at that right now. Here I've got SketchUp open. I'm just going to delete my template here. Now, we go to Windows, I'm sorry, Window, and the Extension Warehouse. Now, I've previously authenticated to the Extension Warehouse, but once you authenticate, you have to sign in to be able to download anything. Just type in STL and hit Enter. And the second object, or the second extension here is what we want. So we'll download this right here. And it looks like since I've already got that installed, normally this would say install or download. Um, the other thing you can do is actually download this from the web. So I can show you that as well. And that's just extension.sketchup.com. Let's do the same thing and search STL here. And here we are, and we've got the option to download. You'll want to click that, and it'll pop up here, which you can actually just exit right out, and there it is. It's downloaded here. And you can go ahead and get back into SketchUp and exit out of the extension warehouse. You'll want to go to Window, and then Preferences. Next, if you go to Extensions here, You'll see I've already got that installed, but let's pretend I don't. <clears throat> Down at the bottom, you'll see Install Extension. And if you select the extension that you want to install, make sure you've got the correct file format, the correct extension here, and hit Open. Do you want to install this extension? Yes. All right, the extension was successfully installed. So now, I see it here and I can you know disable it or and enable it um, and now you can see you've got the ability to export an STL file so what we want to do is import an STL file so let's go ahead and download this file in question in order to download it we just go over here to the uh, thing files and hit the STL file right here Now we'll go to import, and this is the file. What we want to make sure is you may not see it right away because you've not selected the right type of file. So make sure that you've selected the STL extension here. And for options, we want to make sure both of these boxes are checked and you've got millimeters selected. So hit accept, go ahead and select that, and hit open. Now let's check out our file. It appears to have downloaded with just a few issues here. I can see these faces need to be orientated to the right direction. Now you can tell that because they're slightly gray blue and you want them to be white because if you were to zoom into the inside which we can't see it would be the gray blue color. Alright now the file looks great. We want to modify it to fit our desk. I've previously measured my desk. It is a 17 millimeter essentially uh, thickness. You'll want to measure your desk with either a tape measure 
or uh, if you have a digital micrometer available. So I'm going to go ahead and just starting here at this corner, draw a line up on this yellow axis. And I'm going to put in half a millimeter more than the thickness of my desk. So 17.5, and then hit Enter. Now I've created an endpoint that's right here. Or this is the midpoint, so let's find that endpoint. That's the endpoint of the line I just created. Now what we're going to do is grab the top of this drawing and use our moving tool here to select that corner and wait till it stops at the endpoint. Okay, now that it does say endpoint, we click it and we're locked in here. So now that the file has been modified for our desk, make sure to, we can give it a once over if you like. Everything looks fine still. Um, this drawing in particular is extremely simple, so we don't expect anything to go bad. Now select the whole drawing and go to File, Export STL File. Now make sure this box is checked if you're just selecting the geometry and hit, uh, you can keep these settings the same. Hit export and you can just go ahead and save it here. I'm just going to put uh, new headphone. All right, now we've got the STL file and it's perfectly edited. So let's go ahead and check out the, uh, the differences here. I'm going to open up Slicer and show you the work we've done here. Okay, so I'm going to add the files both at the same time here, and you can see the difference. This is the original file, and this is the edited file. You can actually see the original file has some errors, and that potentially is related to the faces that were reversed that we fixed with our, our drawing. And our drawing has no errors. So let's delete the old, and you can go ahead and... Uh, send your drawing out to G-Code and, and print it. Um, I printed mine and it, it looks really nice. It's, uh, it's a great, you know, sturdy. I, I use it, I, it, you know, I would show you, but it's kind of hard to move this webcam. But anyway, this, this slides, this part slides over the desk and uh, the headphones just slide right in here. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. And if you'd like to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much.